This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Launch number one. Launch number three. All right, we're back home. Let's take a look at the results. So you see that the Seeker was incredibly fast. According to the spec, it's supposed to be 3.8 seconds. We did it in 3.7 seconds. And uh, let me see if I can show you guys here. But um, um, okay, uh, versus Ionic 5N, you see that they're right neck on neck in the beginning. And then the Seeker goes a bit slow ish, right? But then towards the end, it just launches forward. I I'm noticed this jolt of power, roughly around 80 kilometers per hour. And of course, if I kept going, it was supposed to keep that insane power until maybe 150, 170 kilometers per hour. I never tested that, of course, in Norwegian roads. But um, also, this car, okay, it's kind of heavy, heavy, but it's also a big car, 639 horsepower. It is incredibly fast. Uh, EX30, okay, it's a small car, that's why it's so fast. Um, what do we have, E T 7 Yeah, I remember E T 7 is Chanel EL7. Wow, it's even faster, was it? Huh? Damn, I remember the E T 7 was a beast. 722 horsepower measured. Uh, but, uh, for example, if you go down a bit, you will see that it's beating Model Y performance. Okay, slightly beating Ionic 5 n but it's just, okay, no, we wouldn't say that beating. Um, BMW i5 M60, huh? how about that? How about Taycan? Huh, it's faster than Taycan even. And then, uh, where was the competitor? And it was uh, Etron GT. Huh, really? Fast than Etron GT. Let me see. Here we have S6 Etron. You know, it's it's a station wagon. It's faster than the twice as expensive S6 Etron. Where was the SQ6 Etron? Here! SQ6 e-tron cost over a million, no, over 100,000 euros. And it is, you know, the, this car is way faster. Okay, enough talk, noise levels. Look here, all the way on the top. Okay, so it's the top 11. Yeah, uh, 21 inch, not even the most balloon tires, 40 profile. I guess if we put on 20 inch, not sure if it fits 19 inch, it'll be even quieter, but it's right here with A6, again, twice as expensive car. EQE, also twice as expensive. IX, same there, twice as expensive. Okay, I might be not an idea for it, but okay. You get the point, right? It is really quiet. It is some of the quietest cars out there. So there you guys have it. The car performs well, it's fast, it's quiet, it's comfortable. It's a no-brainer, huh? Okay, anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.